In this video, we'll show you how to apply clustering in Oracle Analytics Cloud. First, we will create the data flow. Here, we can select either the existing data set in OAC, or we can upload the file from our local system. Or we can create a data set by connecting to various databases or any other source. For now, we will try to create the data set by uploading the file from our local system. This is the customer data set, which tells the amount of purchases they've made and how frequently they are purchasing. We can add the data set to our data flow. Now we will select the features of our interest in which we will be planning to train the cluster. Here we have selected purchase and purchase frequency for our analysis. Now the feature space is ready, we will proceed to train the clustering. We have selected k-means clustering model. We will define the number of clusters as 4 for now. You can explore the other parameters as well to fine tune your model, but I will proceed with the default values. We will save the model and run the data flow. Once the data flow has run successfully, we will apply this model on our data sets to segment the items. To do that, we will create another data flow and we can select the uploaded data set. We will apply the train model and then save the data. Once it's saved, we will run the data flow. Now we'll have a look at our clustered data. The quick way to identify the useful features, we can use the natural language generation functionality in OAC, which quickly explains the correlated features. As we can see, it has clustered the data set in four. High purchase, low purchase frequency, low purchase, high purchase frequency, high purchase, high purchase frequency, low purchase and low purchase frequency. The key drivers for clusters are country and employment. This information is useful in creating visualizations quickly. In our next video, we'll go through this process in more detail.